Okay, what I'm doing here is pretty straightforward from a line up position here. As Richard throws the punch, I'm actually stepping inside of it, physically stepping inside of the technique so that I'm actually getting as close as possible to him, disorientate. Which is one of the features of what I do. If I can hit them without holding them, I will. Because if they're throwing the technique at me, particularly hooks, I need to get inside and crash inside and hit it. If, for example, it's a straight throw punch, I just crash in like so. This works just as effectively. So he throws a straight punch, boom! It doesn't matter where that punch goes. It might hit me right here, bang, great. It might slide on the inside, there. So it's like a wedge, and it redirects the punch away. The thing is, to be perfectly honest, even if he accidentally catches me, boom, I'm still gonna hit him back and hit him again. The whole idea behind this system is it doesn't really matter. I don't wanna get hit, obviously. But if I get hit, I'm still gonna carry on fighting. Okay, most people cannot punch. Most people cannot strike and knock out because simply they don't train for it. So when some asshole in a pub punches me here on the side of the head, boom, I'll just come back at him. Because he hasn't knocked me out. If he hasn't knocked me out, I'm not fucking going down. He's gonna go down now. And to be perfectly honest, if somebody hits me, I'm now rude. Hit stop. Okay. Get back to the point, okay? Whether it's a hook or a straight punch, I'm gonna move forward and in every single time. And that doesn't matter whether it's a right or a left. If he throws a left, I'm just gonna move in. All I can be sure of is that he's trying to hit me. If I do this, and I have to come back, it's taken me a long time. So get it done. Get it sorted. As he attacks me, bang, 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 then I'm gonna hit him. And if I've got hold of his arm, I'm gonna take him down, bang. Okay? No fancy hip throws, no fancy judo. This is just a simple throw. I control his head. By controlling the head, you can do a lot of damage. By controlling someone's head, I can actually control all movement. Laterally, like this, or this, or like so, and knock them to the ground. Okay? So I'm in a palm heel strike. There's no reason why I can't be turned into a head grab and a hair rip, and then a head rip, and take him round and down to the ground like so, provided he's got hair. It doesn't matter if he hasn't got hair. For example, Andy, I'll just get Andy in. He doesn't have hair, so I haven't got the, you know, the benefit of grabbing a bouffant the hairstyle as Richard. Yeah? I can still grab the head and the whole knot of the head. Once I've got hold of the head, I can hit him with elbows. I can hit him with palm strike. Or I can just grab the head and throw Andy to the ground and finish him off. Okay? So bear that in mind. Don't go for grabbing clothing because it rips and tears. Okay? And he can get away from me. Okay? I'll go for the head. And once I've got the head, I can rip the face around, like so, and pull them down to the ground. Okay? Thanks, Andy. So, controlling the head's vitally important. Strikes are my first priority, always. Strike, hit them. Hit them hard, hit them fast. Once I've moved in, I've got the control of the head, I can then take them to where I want them. That could be the corner of a wall. It could be the, the floor, as you've seen. Yeah, it could be the corner of a door. It could be the edge of a car bonnet. Depends on your environment. And what we said right at the beginning of this DVD, look at your environment. There's a lot of stuff you can use. And I don't just mean to pick up. I've got some ammo cases down there. If Richard kicks off now, yeah, and I hit him, boom, I can grab him and start a throne into these objects here. Exceptionally painful. Okay? If he's standing here and he throws a strike at me, boom, I'm moving. You see, I've got that same old trap that we had earlier on. I hit him, and then I push him down, and his head hits the corner of those ammo cases. Saves me a lot of trouble. Saves me a lot of hassle. I do a serious amount of damage just by redirecting his head on any objects that you've got. Car bonnets I've already mentioned. The corner of big jeeps, big people carriers. That takes someone's head off. Okay? Corner of walls, the corner of door frames. Look at the surrounding area and use those key elements there to affect some sort of damage via the use of the head control. You see me already demonstrate this head control and this head control. I mentioned about head ribs. This is where you would physically grab the face like so, or the jaw, and rip the head around like this. Yeah? It's a particularly effective way of fighting someone close in, which is 
once you've got control of the head, as I said earlier on, you've got control of the man himself. So you can turn those palm heel strikes, very effective orientation tools, if you like to call them that. Okay? So if we just demonstrate that once more, this time I'll demonstrate it with a, 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 a strike with a web of the hand, which I've talked about. Richard attacks me, I'm a bit form, I hit him in the throat. Yeah? Once I've hit him in the throat, I'll grab the head and pull him round. And you see what I'm doing now? I'm reaching down, I'm grabbing the head this way, and I'm pulling him round and down onto the ground, or onto the corner of an object, or in some instances, you know, onto my knee. Because the knee is one of the most powerful weapons you've got as well. Second to the elbow, the knee is, is a great weapon. Not a good initial weapon to use because it means you're on one leg. You don't want to be on one leg. You want to be on both feet wherever possible. Uh, but the knee could be used here, for example. Again, I good old hook for my strike, Richard. This time in the throat. I grab his head, pull it down. And then from here, I can knee to the face. Okay, my preference is always a knee to the body. Yeah, wherever possible. But that subsequent control here allows me to control the ground. And again, finish him off with that good old jab slapping. Knees, primarily for my, my purposes, are direct to the bladder or the groin, preferably the bladder. If you hit someone in the bladder, which lies just below the, the, the navel, okay, the belly button here, yeah, if that bladder's full and you knee it straight in any way, it will start to split and burst. It's causing major internal damage. It's quite a serious technique to use on anyone. Of course, you wouldn't know that you just had 10 pints. So when you hit him, it's an expanded bag that splits rapidly, okay? Uh, an example here of the way I would use it. I'd come in, I'd strike Richard either again with this or here, grab it and then knee deep into the body cavity here. And if I slam it in hard enough, <coughs> it'll wind him, it'll take the wind out of his cells. And from here, guess what? I just go into my good old head rip. There he goes. Bam. Straight down again. Standard operational procedures. You see, I always end up with the same technique. I finish off. My intention here is not to show you thousands of different techniques, but how to use some simple techniques in thousands of different scenarios. Because each scenario is going to be different. So, what happens if you've got somebody who tries to kick you? It's quite common. They'll take a swing and kick at you. Not as common as punches. How do we deal with that? Well, let's have a look at it. We can see Richard's already on one leg. Unless he's a martial artist, unless he's a good Thai boxer, those kicks aren't going to really do much damage. I actually always go to the point where I'll just grab one. Or, if he's sort of coming up here, I'll actually step on the side of him. This way. You can see a kick coming a mile away because the hip chambers and it's a big setup. It's like, whoa, here it comes. Okay? As soon as that kick comes in, you'll see that I'll pop to the side and hit him in the throat. You'll see that I can step off to the side and slap him and take him out with a palm heel strike. So I'm moving again inside the kick. If you do martial arts and you, you do a lot of fancy kicking stuff, if you really want to kick someone, you, all you need to do is, as they're kicking you, is kick, boom, to the knees. Kick to the knee joints and use the shin as a kicking implement. So as, as the kick comes, I'll step across and kick that knee out. I don't need to tell you how much damage you can do with that. And it's not really possible for me to show you against Richard because he would be incapable of walking for a couple of months. Because I would take out the whole of the crucial ligament and the knee joint of patella itself. Okay? Once you've kicked that leg out, I don't think there's really any need for you to, uh, to be hanging around much longer because he's not going to get up and chase you. If he does, then make sure you can fucking run because he's tougher than you. Okay? So kicks can be evaded, like so, using strikes to finish him off. Yeah? Can be evaded by stepping across and kicking out the support knee. Can be grabbed, like so, catch it, oh. lift it up. And there he goes. Throw him on his ass. He goes straight up in the air and he goes crashing down on the ground. Okay? There are some schools of thought whereby if the kick comes in, bang, I'll step off to the side and grab it. Okay, that's fine. Experiment with this particular aspect of a, of a of fighting. I personally have never been kicked in any type of street fight. I don't know anybody, my personal friend, that I've ever been kicked either. Generally speaking, it's hands first. Well, God first, hand second, brain last. Okay? So this is something to remember. It's good to train against kicks, but use your common sense. The kicks here are going to come straight at you here, means he's off balance. Yeah? 
So by simple evasion, which is a natural reaction, you'll tuck your body. You can catch that leg and throw them up in the air. Or taking a bull by the horns and actually stepping inside of it and kicking out the knees. Yeah, there's lots of techniques like Wing Chun use different types of stamina. Thai boxing use techniques like this, known as nev, peck kicks to the knees. They're fine, but there's a chance that your kick, his kick will get you first, so you're gonna get hurt. Wherever you can, either catch the leg or move away from it. 